Welcome back. We returned to the Dixieland drugstore to ask Willy over here about animal masks. Because he has one, so he might know something about it. And when we got here, we also spotted one of his customers, a Madame Kazanu, who um, is kind of peculiar, but she does seem to be really into voodoo stuff. So, uh, we should probably add her to the list of people we should talk to. Although I think Gabriel probably has less of a personal interest in talking to her than he does with uh, Malia Getty. Just an impression. Um, I don't remember. Did we show Willy the uh, Voodoo Murders picture? After all, he was the one who had the strange reaction when we mentioned the Voodoo Murders. Look at the voodoo paraphernalia around the body in the photograph. Are you sure you can't tell me anything about it? No, I don't know anything about it. Nothing. Okay, I guess we did, or whatever. Um, let's talk to him. Can I ask you just a few more questions? Whatever, man. Okay, um, we can also ask him about Madame Kazanu, the woman we just saw. Let's do that first. That customer of yours, the little old lady. Customer? The woman I saw in here, Madame Kazanu, you call her. I don't talk about my customers to men who come in off the street. But we want to meet her. It's important that I talk to Madame Kazanu. You see, I'm doing some research, and I can't tell you anything about her. Well, that sucks. Hmm. We'll have to find some other way of finding uh, out how to contact her. And who do we ask when we need research done? That's a stupid question, isn't it? Um, let's see. We were here to ask him about animal masks. Do you know anything about the animal masks? Like the ones in the voodoo rituals they do for the tourists? Right. I used to sell a few as souvenirs. The only one left is Willie Jr. over there. The old crocodile. Well, he's sort of a mascot now, him. Really? Tell us more about this, good sir. About Willie Jr. Would you be willing to let him go? Hmm, maybe. For a hundred dollars. A hundred bucks? You've got to be kidding. Me and Willie Jr. are very close now. I could park with him for less. A hundred dollars? That's about a hundred more than Gabriel currently has. Would you take fifty for Willie Jr.? Don't insult me, monsieur. The price is $100. I don't even really know why we need it yet. But now that the option is there, I want it. So we'd better find a way to make some money, or steal it, or whatever. You don't have any, anything else to say about animal masks, do you? Can you tell me anything else about how animal masks are used? They're curiosities, no? This here is a curio shop. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting. That is not what you said to Madame Kazanu, who seemed to believe this stuff was real and you were more than willing to go along with that. But I don't think we're getting much more out of him. I guess we're gonna have to, uh, find a uh, hundred dollars to purchase that mask. Hey, and on the plus side, if we do, we qualify for that lanyap thing. The sign say, special Saint-Jean Eve, free but the lover come back to me oil, or master gambling oil, with every purchase over fifty dollars. Lanyap. Right, see? 
$100 would be over 50, if my math is correct. Also, um, that uh, Master Gambling Oil sounds like something our dear friend Sam could do with to try and win at chess. Okay, um, well, I think it's about time we head back to um, St. George's Books. And uh, ask Grace if she can help us find out anything about Madame Kazanou. And she's, of course, going to... I knew you'd miss me. So I came back. The excitement of seeing you is killing me. Yeah, I can hear it in your voice. Um, anyway, she's probably going to assume the wrong thing when we ask her about that, but anyway. Not much we can do about that. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Alright, request research. Could you do course. some research for me? Sure, what? I need you to look up a Madame Cazenou. Madame Cazenou? Is she related to the murders the same way your friend Malia Getty was? Grace, Cazenou is at least 70. As if that makes a difference to you. Okay, I'll see what I can find. Anything else? Nope. I can't think of anything. Okay. Uh, there's probably some new stuff here. That's the annoying thing. It doesn't keep track of what you ask to whom, so it's kind of difficult sometimes. Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? Wasn't she a big voodoo queen before the Civil War? That's right. Well, you just heard everything I know about her. What a tomb of knowledge you are. Do you know anything about animal masks? Uh, I I'd really rather not hear about your sex life, Knight. That is not what I meant. Very, very not what I meant. It's time to close shop. Is it? So it is. Have a nice night. If you say so. You too. See you tomorrow. Another night. Hopefully without nightmares this time, but I'm not counting on it. And it seems I was right. Is that Malia? Kinda looks like her. I swear we've seen this talisman somewhere else. Hey, that's new. That isn't though. I'd rather hope that is not prophetic. Dave three. Drawn to Bacchus's abode, I sought there to conspire, but it was in the city of the dead that I found my heart's desire. Grace and the paper boy really managed to time that perfectly every morning. I'm so glad you could join us today. I've got messages when you want them. Mm. I also checked out Kazanu. There are multiple listings in the white pages. I got the page, but you'll have to figure out the right one. Great, thanks. Hmm. 
Now, Offy. are you gonna tell me what happened yesterday with Malia Getty, or <laughs> is it just too embarrassing? Mm. Don't tell me you actually got to see her. By the star at tonight. Gabriel, you don't seriously think she's interested. She can have any man in the city. You know, men with bank accounts. You underestimate the Knight family's tragic poet samurai appeal. When Daddy married Mom, she was the hottest catch in town. Hmm. Huh. I always suspected there was something fishy in your family tree. <laughs> but seriously, I think you should be careful. Oh, Grace. I'm serious. I don't know why, but I have a bad feeling in the pit of my stomach about this. It's called jealousy, my dear. And you're right. You should be jealous of Malia Getty, as should every woman on this planet. I just... Uh, oh, never mind. I'll just fix these books. Your life is in your own slippery little hands. The point is to get it into somebody else's hands. And soon. <sighs> Gabriel is seriously overstating the amount of success he had with Malia yesterday. All right, new day, and uh, remember what I said about paying attention. Oh, wait. Hey, minute. kids. Huh? Bruno. Gabe, pet. I just popped in to see if you're desperate enough to sell me that painting. Hmm. Well. It is our father's painting, but we kind of need money if we want to get that animal mask off Willy. So let's see. How much would he give us? How much would you give me for it, Bruno? Gabriel, don't you dare sell your father's painting. And whereas before Gabriel automatically said this, we now have another option. Stay out of this, Grace. Ooh, you're serious? You'll let me have it? Yeah, I'll let you have it, all right. How much for the painting? Hmm, well, I could give you a hundred. That's all I can let go at the moment, you know. My fares are so tied up. Gabriel, a hundred dollars for your father's painting? Exactly what we Grace, need. Grace, let me deal with this. Um... Now you think, since this is a share Sierra game, you might be able to haggle, but uh, no. A hundred is what we need, and a hundred is what we're getting. Fine. It's yours. Gabriel! Here! Here's the hundred! You better take good care of this, Bruno. This is not just another of your hip art pieces, you know. Really? Well, I fully intend to make the most of its display, though not for your sake, I'm sure. At least in my shop, there'll be a chance of someone actually seeing it. I can't believe I actually got it. Just wait until I show see it. Well, I have to say, it does cheer up the place. I don't believe you! It, it's just a painting, Grace. There are things I have to do. Yep, we need that hundred bucks. Um, well, as I was about to say before he walked in, um, remember I said something about paying attention to the uh, poems at the start of each day? This one mentioned something about Bacchus's abode and the city of the dead, which uh, are hints that today we should pay a visit to the Napoleon House and St. Louis Cemetery Number 1. But we'll have to do so in the next video.